Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be what you're not expecting to happen from November 15th through the 30th. We're basically going to pinpoint energies that you guys may not be expecting to experience, um, energies that you, you know, may need to meet it. Oh, if I can talk energy, you may need a heads up on, um, all that jazz. So we're going to get straight into it before we do get started. My name is Crystal. This is Mystical Crystal Tarot, and I do strictly tarot readings here. So if you would like to see more of my readings, make sure you're subscribed. You do all the extra stuff like like the video and hit the notification bell. And if you would like to get a personal, check out the description box, okay? So let's go ahead and shuffle and get into some things. What are my Aquarius not expecting to happen from November 15th through the 30th that may happen? And the first card we have is the Judgment card. So interesting. Um, with this card, there's going to be a final decision made. Um, this could be in a sense of court. So if some of you guys have like a court situation going on, whether it's like a custody battle, um, you suing somebody, like you actually going through court, like, um, litigation, what, whatever, <laughs> if you have like some sort of decision that you're waiting to hear, to hear about, um, basically this is going to be the time frame in which you will hear about it, especially if you're going through like a divorce as well. But also with the judgment card here, um, for some of you, you may have like an old friend that may be coming into town during this time frame, and they may be reaching out to you and you guys may be hanging out and things may be feeling, <laughs> things may be feeling like you guys never really like stop talking to each other, especially if it's been a couple years since you guys have really like spoke on the phone or really, you know, engaged with each other in person. You may be feeling like, well, dang, things have never changed since we last saw each other. And some of you, you could be just meeting up with like some family members who you haven't seen in a while. This could be via like Thanksgiving or something like that. You guys are having some sort of celebration um, and then you see these old family members and you may not be feeling them like that. There may be something off with their energy, especially if you're somebody who's been working hard in your career and you may be making your family proud. And you may have some family members who may be a little bit jealous of the fact that you're getting somewhere in your career and you may be noticing that. OK. Yeah, I have the two of swords. Some of you, you may have some verbal clashings with some family members like during Thanksgiving. Uh, for some of you, it's not really like during Thanksgiving. You may just have some verbal arguments with somebody who's close to you. This could be a spouse. Um, this could even be a boss, honestly. But be careful of somebody trying to bait you in in com confrontation by saying little things to you that they know is triggering to you, whether it's like a personal jab, like your weight or um, a family member passing or just basically trying to provoke you by saying things that are triggering to you. Um, and some of you guys, you may engage with this person, but giving you a heads up, somebody is going to try you that way and be careful of your response because it may just put you in a whole whirlwind of drama, unnecessary drama. We have the King of Swords. Okay, so you guys are really going to be taking the time, though, to be strategic during this time frame in regards to how you can close this year off and make it a really good year for you. And for a lot of you, I do feel as if this year has been interesting. But for a lot of my Aquarius who have taken more of the logical approach or the more, okay, how can I use this situation to benefit me perspective? This year is really going to close out good for you because you kind of used the circumstances to your, your benefit. So when I say that, um, if you lost your job during the pandemic, if you took the initiative of, okay, even though I lost my job and I hate the fact that I lost my job, let me find some sort of way to get to know myself more, um, figure out what career I really want to go into, especially if you weren't really too fond of the career you were in already. This is like you guys taking the time to use the pandemic to help you make those adjustments in your life that you've always wanted to make, but the opportunity never presented itself. And you took the opportunity that presented itself 
and, and made it your own. Okay. We also have the six of swords here. So with the six of swords, this is you guys. Some of you may get the initiative or the want to like delete a social media app. This could be Twitter, Instagram, even YouTube, hell. Um, but you may be feeling like you're just in a mental space where it's just too much going on and mentally you just want to be at peace. So you may just, you know, delete a social media app for some time, like some for a couple of weeks or... With this Six of Swords, I'm getting the energy of some of you guys just really wanting to go on a vacation, whether it's with other people or by yourself, just wanting to take a mental health break to get to this place of um, being at peace. Okay. We also have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are really going to start to come full circle for you. I will say that. Um if you have been feeling, like I said, discouraged or in this energy of not knowing exactly what to do, it wasn't really a thing for you to really figure out what to do per se. Um, spirit was making some necessary changes in your life as far as removing people, bringing people into your life, uh, removing certain uh, experiences out of your life and, and bring new experiences into your life just for the purpose of you shifting into a new cycle. So sometimes it's not a situation where you need to have everything figured out per se. You don't need to have a plan a hundred percent when it comes to life. Okay. Sometimes it's more of a by, by chance thing, certain opportunities you can't plan into your life. So a lot of you are starting to realize that and understand that, that you really, you really have the universe by your side if you allow them to guide you and put you in a position to win. Okay, two cards came out. We have the King of Cups and we also have the Fool card. Okay. So with these cards... There may be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that may, may be of significance to you. Um, with this individual, you may be having some sort of interest in them, but you may be realizing that this person is, what's the word? I don't want to say prideful, but there's somebody who really tries to protect their feelings because they've gone through experiences where people didn't value their feelings enough and may have actually taken their, you know, ability to be in touch with their emotions as being emotional and this person may be coming off a little closed off not really expressing how they feel and what they're looking for romantically and this could be making you feel like well is this person even interested in me it's not a situation where they're not interested it's more of a situation where um like I said they like to protect their feelings they don't like to divulge too much of how they feel because they don't want to be deemed as overly emotional or be taken advantage of because of the fact that they are somebody who cares and, and you know, can be a little sensitive. Um, with the full card, also, I do have Aries energy that's coming through. Some of you guys, you may be feeling like this Aries individual who you guys may be romantically dealing with or just may have in your life regardless of you know what role they may play you may be feeling like they're doing way too much for you um so you may have to cut some sort of like Aries individual off during this time frame okay it may be something that may be off-putting I can't really put my finger on it in regards to an Aries but you may be feeling like mm, yeah, I need to cut this person off. For some of you, if this is romantic, things may not quite get off the ground with an Aries individual if it's romantic because you and this person may not be on the same maturity level. And for some of you, it's more of a situation where this person doesn't really want to take that leap of faith just yet. They, they may still be healing from some pain from the past, honestly, but... I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thumbs this video up. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, if you want a personal, check out the description box. And I will see each and every one of my Aquarius in the next reading. 
Bye, guys.